Hi. I am fine. I'm with who? Nduta Mwega here. Nduta, Nduta, they be calling you Kenyan Cardi B. Why do you think so you've been called Kenyan Cardi B? Because many think I look like her, many think I sound like her, so yeah, and it's me. So yeah. <laughs> what do you think is so similar, you and Cardi B? I think uh, people who know me personally, personality. But people who know me from online, of course, the looks and some maybe the voice. Yeah. The voice, but I still look like Cardi B. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so today, today I met the Kenyan Cardi B. My name is Kato Promo from Kenyan Music, and we are the news. So, what do you do? I'm a content creator. I'm a professional dancer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Other than being a dancer, other than being a content creator, what else do you feel like you can do? I'm a fashion designer, I'm a fashion model, both of them. Especially fashion modeling and designing. If you have any big event that you need, mm -hmm. please, holla me, DM me, because I have some amazing designs that I can work on you. I work low-key, but you know, I got you. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's your relationship here on Flossy Trooked? Flossie is a very true friend of mine, honestly. He's a small brother of mine. I will label that because, you know, like, people who look out for each other, that's the type of vibe. He's my, like, my, my brother, I'd say. Like, an Anikol sister, I call him brother because we take care of each other. Yeah, we have a nice bond. Yeah. You, as a content creator and a dancer, what's the difference between you being a content creator and being a normal dancer? Content creator and a dancer. I feel like a content creator will do it for a trend. And a dancer, a professional dancer, knows how to dance. And in case you just bring them on stage, they'll be able to deliver without doing like a trend or something. You know, you understand? So, so yeah. what should I describe you? A dancer or a TikToker? Dancer. Dancer. Okay. Yeah. You as a woman. You earn 100k per month. What do you expect your man to earn? <laughs> Times 10, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Times 10 or at least times 5. Mm -hmm. 5 is good. 5 is good if you're generous, but if you're stingy, times 10. But I don't think I'll date like a stingy can, person. You can't date a stingy guy. No. You no, can't date you, a bro. You have to give it to me because. You know, like for you guys, you're always like I either like something, but I have to get something out of it. If he is a stingy man, he won't get it for you. Even if that guy has like flow of money and flow in income, yo, you'll be suffering and be like, hey, you got this, you got this, and he's not even sorting it out. Like, come on, no. Wow. That's wow. not a thing for me. Wow. You heard it. Oh. The volume is so loud. No, you could. I'm okay. good. Uh, you as a lady, as a woman, what do you bring on the table to your man? To... <laughs> I feel like I wish in these questions there was someone to just write like a review or like da 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 da, -da what I provide. Because I feel like at times, as a person, you never know the plus side, like the bonus you add to a relationship but of course you know you provide like as a woman you provide the love and the peace in the family you provide the unity and you provide the you know you have to perform in like some way some what? way yeah some way you let me tell you the relationship if the relationship is boring at first i, I feel like it's the woman's fault but in second place is the man's fault if he's not open to the experiments. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. Personally, if you're not open to the experiment, but of course, as a lady, come on, you, you have to changamka, you know? Because in the Bible, in the Bible, the lady are responsible on that side. The man is responsible to provide. Mm -hmm. But the lady, submission. So mm -hmm. if you're going by the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, the lady, come on, changamka. Changamka, do those yoga palaris. Mm -hmm. Be flexible, you know. Okay. Yeah, but of course, in this stage, mm -hmm. we have to be independent. 
So of course, for us ladies, we are looking out for ourselves. Yeah. So of course, kuna your groceries and stuffs. But the main things, come on, a man has to provide. Yeah. What's your ID type of a guy? <laughs> Let me tell you, honestly, I shall not say this right now because I'm not looking for anything right now. So let me, I won't say. I won't say, but maybe in previous interviews I've said, but right now, I won't say because I'm not looking for uh, any. Why is it modern dating so hard on women? Modern dating? Because I feel like the society right now has really soften the men right now mm -hmm. and it's not supposed to be like that mm -hmm. men should be traditional even if you're trying to be modern make sure you're modern in a in a more masculine way like come on not to be feminine don't be so feminine because right now like i feel like some men prefer to be like very they want to be cuddled, they want to be spoiled, they want to be, you know, like, come on, you're a man, wake up, wake up. We still, even if we are independent, you still need to be masculine, that's all. Even if you're independent, as an independent lady, of course, if I get like a man, I expect him to be like, really masculine, you know, and be like, no, baby, I can provide it. Even if I say, you know, I got it, it's okay, but then I'll be like, Baby, no, I, I have it. I got it. Just relax. Because most relax. independent ladies want to hear that. Most. Not all of them are here. Do you think you need a man in life? <laughs> Currently? That's an odd question. If I was younger, I would have said, yeah, you know, you know, you know. But I feel like if you feel like you need a man in your life, you're still not full yet. You should date when you feel like you're full yourself. You can be you, you can provide for you and everything. So that when you date, it's not a compromise. It's like you feel this person is actually completing you. It's not a compromise, you know. So date when you feel like you're complete yourself and you're healed. Are yeah, you bitter? Are you bitter? No, I'm not Peter. I'm just experienced and I feel like you should be healed. Because I was those, oh, you're 20, you don't know what you're doing with the life and you want to settle. It happens for some people and it will work, but eventually they still feel like they need to heal a part of themselves in the relationship, but you know, it works different for all people. Uh, are you a city girl? <laughs> no, I'm not. I am really <laughs> a loyal girl. I'm not a city person, but I look like a city person and I love fun, but I'm really a loyal person. But, you know, yeah, I got you.